Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin in... Damon, good. Sorry. No use it. Sorry. In the last episode, he managed to fight a bunch of stone golems as well as some other enemies. We ended up killing them all to get to this area. So, here we are. We made it to the desecrated church, and we originally came here, if you guys remember, for... Uh... This... No? Yes. Well, Bracus, Bracus Rex... Uh, was, uh, was buried around here, supposedly, and there seems to be a lot of dead corpses here. Hello? Oh, ah, found you again. Source Hunter, have you come to lend your blood to our cause? How much simpler all this would be if only it was so. Ma'am, you're level 20. I would appreciate it if you didn't beat my ass for a minute. Still, I cannot blame you for struggling against me. What reason have you to trust me that your efforts are misplaced? But now, with Bracchus Rex nearly risen, there's little more you can do to hinder me. Hinder you? I hardly understand what you're trying to accomplish. Honestly, though, fuck. And they're trying to bring a dead man back to life, and he did a lot of bad things in his day, but that's the extent of what I really know. Perhaps for the better. When we first met on the beaches of Sicil, I underestimated you. That blunder has cost me dearly. I want to just say I didn't realize that was her at the beginning, but I guess it makes sense. Still, after all, you need not know more than this. The end is coming. The end of sorrow. The end of pain. Those who oppose me oppose peace itself. Alright, so how do you hope to attain this peace, anyway? And here I thought you'd seen it yourself. Tell me, what is the imp? historian doing, if not begging you to divert the void. The void maelstrom, are you the one that's compelling it closer? So, you're familiar after all. Alright, so you're actually tying in a lot more than I thought you were, that's very interesting. You know as well as I that the void is coming. In fact, if I'm very precise, it's already here. But you need not be afraid. The Void is ourselves. We are destined to rejoin it. See, honestly, your schemes threaten all of existence, which kind of makes you a little bit of a monster. I have chosen a dark and dangerous path, but I vow that those sacrificed have not suffered in vain. My only wish for all of Revelon is the soft hush of silence. Right. Now, now, Steve, your goal is to unleash the Void on Rivalon. What use have you for the Source King? Bracchus Rex was the forefather of our cause. The original Immaculate. His resurrection brings Rivalon one step closer to the ultimate solution. Dissolution. Wouldn't you like to meet him? The sorcerer your order was formed to destroy. I'm certain he'd love nothing more than to meet you. Follow me. Find out. Eh, yeah, fuck it. I had nothing else to do on a Sunday evening. Alright, what's going on? Can I, can I loot these guys? No? Oh, okay. I actually didn't think you were going to fight me. Don't know why I didn't think you would, but, uh... Well, let's hit them both. Did I just kill them? I am sorry. I didn't realize how young you guys were. Good, good point to, like, stand. Jesus Christ. Can I even hit them from here with a ricochet? Maybe. Well, GG. <laughs> I, I kind of feel bad. That fight was a little unfair. Holy shit, there's a lot of items in here. Alright, we're gonna start by taking that and that. And we're gonna take all of the special armor potions and the mortician's hut keys and the gold. We're gonna obviously take this painting of a landscape. Why do I always like find random buttons whenever I'm just looking to <laughs> to take paintings? All right, what do you do? What hatch? Wait, there was a hatch that? Just, okay, I heard it open, but I don't know where it was. Hey, is there anything in here? Uh, it, take it all. The painting of the woman. Please tell me I can at least take it, or for fuck's sakes. A switch, much like the first. Could there be more? I want to say I really like the graphics, and I really appreciate how they kind of fold like they do. Oh shit! A nice scimitar. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll take it. 
And I'll take the magical armor potion. Wait, so do all of these have a uh, button? Three down, but how many to go? Yeah, okay. Uh, that's a great question. Um, I don't see any more paintings off the top of my head. I don't think. Did I miss any here in the front? No, I don't believe so. And I think they're only hidden in those. Is that even like? Is that just open up this church gate door? I don't know. Hmm. So we found three paintings. Um, okay, we got that painting of a woman. There is some painting of a man. There's painting of a landscape. But there's... There's a church gate key. I guess I can take that. I thought I did. Can I go through here with that? Okay, cool. What do we have in back here? Light gold cup. Lots of light gold cups. There's also that. But I don't know what that is. Well, oh, anyway, not important. Let's grab this blasphemy book. Now let's grab this key. Let's, uh, let's grab this chest. You An unidentified sharp push dagger. A dagger uh, hand hone and a unique uh, artisanal style engraver the title Cat Claws. Some gold, a blank witchcraft scroll, and an unidentified cracked leather belt. Alright, just before we continue, I know that you can identify, and I'm sure you can identify well, but Jet can do it a little bit better. Jet, we need you to do your magic on the belt and on the dagger. Chances are she's going to be using the dagger. Yeah, so I'm going to say that'll be your just-in-case dagger. And let's give that to her, and let's call that a day and push those buttons. I heard the sound of scraping in the main hall. Alright, so we've got that main hall done. What's this? Huh. He he hello? What the hell's over here? Alright, I'll start looking at barrels. It looks like it's on top of something. Or just a thing sticking... Do the barrels all have something sticking out of them and I just didn't notice? Alright. Um, who are you, sir? Wow. Hello there. And who, pray tell, might you be? Well, most recognize us as source hunters, and who are you? Oh, let's just say I keep the place in check. Tidy it up. Alright, well haven't you got a name? I'm no one important, really. I've learned to appreciate anonymity. And forgive me if I prefer to distance myself from any possible mishaps you adventurers can cause. Quite unpleasant to get involved. Authorities knocking on your door in the middle of the night and so on. Right, well it sounds like you've had some bad experiences with adventurers. Forgive me if I generalize. But some of your lot are as crazy as they come. I once thought you a quaint sort. But over the years, I've come to realize that about one in ten is downright dangerous. Lock up behind bars, paint the key blue, and toss it into the sea material. Now, I can't help but wonder, are you cut from the same batty cloth? Why have you come here after all? What's the point of it all? Well, I have actually come to solve the murder of Councillor Jake originally. The mysterious stranger gives you a long look, and, after what feels like a vast eternity, nods. Okay. Okay, was I supposed to play that one out any differently? Now I'm kind of curious. Alright, well as far as I can tell, he's literally just a troll. Uh, there is something I want to try though, which is grabbing something from him. So, just a moment. See, I, I, so I googled it, and I guess what the situation is that it was a reference to wow. an RPG codex Hello, of sorts, no one forgive me or something. I can't help but Regardless, wonder, are you cut from the same batty cloth? I, Why have you come here after all? I, I, What's the point of it all? What I guess is that he is a reference to a Kickstarter campaign or something where he was supposed to be woven in the storyline if a certain amount had been uh, <laughs> if a certain amount had been uh, reached and never was so uh, the mistake that's sort of what that it, it's essentially just a troll as far as I can tell though so that was cool I don't know what the story is on that uh, other than that I did find a lot of people asking what the hell is it for so I don't know. 
Alright. Well, we're down here in an ancient tomb. Uh, this vase says nothing. I don't know what the fuck it just said. Strange magic here. How will we deactivate it? The button. The <laughs> Holy shit, it worked. <laughs> Holy shit, it worked. Source Hunter. Huh. By the health of the seven, you're here. There may yet be hope. Perhaps you remember me as a healer. But gods, what a herald of death I have become. I don't, don't take this the wrong way, but I don't really remember you. I'm beyond redemption now. But you, you alone may save Sicilian, may save all of Riveron from the horror I've summoned. Because I'm curious, what do you have to trade? Alright, you have some Drenda. You have a Resurrect Scroll. I could totally go for a Resurrect Scroll. Yoink. You also have uh, a debuff perception. Hmm. Poison resistance. This just ups your dexterity for three turns, ups your armor. You know what? Um. I just want that. That's all I want. King Bracchus. Bracchus Rex from the Tales of Old. He lives. The mad source king, the lord of chaos, I have awakened him. So what happened here? I've done a terrible thing. I've raised a mad king from beyond the grave. I imagined so very foolishly that I'd be able to extract an ancient secret from him. But with a simple flash of his arcane magic, I was... I was finished. Right. Uh, I I have many questions for this King Bracchus I'll about tell this. You all I know, Source Hunter. Well, what do you mean you awakened a long dead king? Resurrected, revived. The king lives, but not as the man he once was. He retains the mark of death upon him, like a festering wound. All right. So who is or, or was King Bracchus? who nearly condemned Rivalon to oblivion. He began the War of Wars, marching brother against brother against friend, until every land and home burned with death. It was during this... this dark time that your order, the Source Hunters, was formed. Bracchus was defeated, and Source outlawed from the land. Alright, now, now why did you awaken him? Bracchus was a dangerous monster, but... He achieved things no man or mortal could have dreamt of. He alone is said to have known a great secret. How to break the Forge of Souls. I promised to extract this secret for a woman calling herself the Conduit. In exchange, she vowed to reveal to me a certain power of her own. In hindsight, I see that I dealt with the devil, and I've received my damnation. Alright, so how did you call him forth from the land of the dead? I was given a great stone. A blood stone. But more charged with life than any I'd seen before. The conduit said it would imbue Bracchus with life enough to share the secret she craved. But what he has become? His powers have all returned, and I cannot stop him. So you, was it you who raised the undead all around Cecile as well? My failures. My failures are so many, I can hide them no longer. In my pursuit of the Source King, I've called forth abominations that neither I nor any other can destroy. The ghoul that guards the lighthouse, the Baron of Bones, the twins by fire joined. Their ghastly faces haunt me, and they in turn have rifled through the graves and sarcophagi of Cecile. In search of undead minions. Shit, I knew we forgot about the lighthouse. I don't know about the Baron of Bones, but we found the twins by fire joined. They were a hell of a fun time to fight. Undead, Source Hunter. Unkillable. I fear this plague may never end, no matter how many times the rotten dead are defeated. But I, I actually killed the, the... Never mind. Um, about the... Quan uh, Jesus. About the, yes, about the Klondike. <laughs> about the Conduit. Curse her name. Her hell-sent promises. What can you tell me about her? She claims to be a link between her goddess and the world of men. I never believed her divine claims, but I could not deny her great power. It was she who showed me that bloodstone could be used for more than healing. 
Her stones, particularly powerful and potent, could raise the dead. Right. Uh, what does she promise you in return for your help, anyway? What could turn any soft soul towards wickedness? My weakness was love, and it was love that she promised me. So, like, from her, or...? The conduit had shown me how to raise skeletons and zombies from their graves. But what I craved was something far more rare. A second life. A true second life for my wife, Malia. She was a beautiful soul, snatched from the world of the living far before her time. Holy fuck, dude, I'm sorry. Now the conduit's promise seemed simple. A secret for a secret. I'd tell her how to break the soul forge, and she'd tell me how to bring Malia back. Well, I'ma take my leave. You can <laughs> defeat the unholiness I've raised, Source Hunter. You can save the countless innocents that will perish under the Source King's mad fist. I pray... No, I believe you can reverse my failures. You know what? Maybe I can. Oh uh, shit, are you okay? Can I finish you off? Can I finish you off? No, you're just... You were just dead. Well, rest in peace. I was gonna loot you, but... Well, never mind. Uh, really quick. So, Celeron believed that by unleashing these monsters, he'd learn the secret to resurrecting his beloved wife. Your love can complete... A love so complete can cloud even the best man's judgment. Love is no excuse for committing an act so very dumb. Well, no, but I understand where he's coming from. I didn't say I was forgiving him. Mwah. You just like fighting with me, Jed. Alright, what do we have here? We have a... We have a bone. We also have a bone to pick, but I mean... Let's ignore the shitty puns here for a second. Who is messaging me on Discord? <laughs> I have no idea. I gotta remember to turn that thing off whenever I record. But I also rarely ever use it, so I never really expect anybody to message me on it. Oh shit, Brachus Rex? Wait, you're only level 9? And you killed the world? One who comes to watch the spectacle. To see the sovereign of the source ascend again. Or perhaps you are the first in a long new line. The first that will try to stop my dominion again. <laughs> oh, by the emerald eyes of the goddess, would you believe that I can still feel it ever so vaguely? The force of the stab that cleft my heart and sent my soul shivering into death. I'll take care of the Discord in a second. I have to just listen to what he says, and then hope I can save and quit. But my followers have done it. <laughs> they have done it like I knew they would. Blood, the thick red gravy, the source of souls, has been yielded unto stars and stones, and has swept away the eternal shadows. How long has it been, I wonder, my first repose in death? An hour. The time it takes the seas to tear down the cliffs. It is of no matter. I live, and I shall claim my throne anew. What does the name Cassandra mean to you? Ha! <sighs> Not a thing. There was a woman once that went by that name. Until I mangled her body into that of a leaf. Oh, my sister did. Cassandra and her man cat. Mere pets of mine, the both of them. Tools to bruise and break as I saw fit. They bled so very beautifully. You the fabled Brachus? Oh my god, I, I, I will be right back. I better turn off Discord. I'm not upset. I just don't know who the fuck is messaging me. And it sounds awfully important. So I'm gonna stop the recording, check on that, mute it or uninstall it, whatever seems more fitting at the time and i'll be right back all right so i'm way farther away i saved in the middle of the cutscene but uh anyway you're the fabled brackest rex i uh, presume a fable i may have become as time dragged on but a fact i am once more little one don't you don't 
want all of you, miserable mortals, realize that they who are one with Source have thrown off the burdensome mantle of death forever. I embraced Source. I drank it, made it part of my blood and my being. And so a warlord became a sorcerer, and a sorcerer became a king. The fools of this world dubbed me a tyrant. But the gods convinced them I was such, fearful as they were of my rise and power. Armies are masked, too many. Scores I see, too few. Death took me to soon, but not for all time. Right, Nessie, I'm told the reason for your resurrection is a secret you hold. How to break a soul forge. The reason for my resurrection, O simplest of spirits, is that I was destined to be. Were it not for the vainglorious fools that raised me now, it would have been another, perhaps wiser being, that would have done so in time. And time is of no matter. Only to be. Eternally. A woman seeks my secret, for her soul is entwined with another's, yes. Where once they were inseparable, now they have grown apart in purpose and intent. But my secrets are mine to keep. Perhaps when she lies shivering before me, pledging alliance to her king, I will break her forge before I break uh, Holy shit, so anyway, I've heard enough. We source hunters undid you once, we'll do so again. Alright, Darth a Vader. Source hunter. So you are. Though you are so much more, and do not even know it. No matter, they still smell like you do, by the by. Your brother and sister hunters as they closed in around me that first time. Fear. That most sly, most intangible of scents. Drowned out soon afterward by the acid stench of urine. Alright, so they pissed themselves. Why is there a box of, or a chest of your personal belongings, by the way? What am I gonna find in there, like your magazines? You know, your subscriptions, that kind of stuff. <laughs> I had but to look at them, and they rusted their chain mail where they stood. I undid so manifold they had to wade through the gore of the fallen. Oh, what a feast, what fountains of gravy we had. Um, right, you consider blood gravy, understood. Alas, that there were too many, as there clearly are to many of you still. Although, life renewed has made me rather peckish. And from the looks of you, you need but the slightest of squeezes to make squirt the source's source from your soft, fleshy shell. Yes, look at you. Plump as a leech bulging with freshly sucked blood. Oh, I do believe, as my servants would say as they brought in a squirming, plump girl on a plate, that dinner is served. I like this voice actor, by the way. Oh! Oh shit, I didn't think this was happening so soon. Well... I, uh... Oh hey, it's a Twins with Fire joined again! This is gonna, like, instantly kill us. Well... Wait, really? I wasn't supposed to die there? Um... Alright then. Alright, so I took the chance to heal beforehand. Let's just start things off with a bang. I didn't even hurt him. Um... Well... well d d hello? <laughs> Alright, I don't think I'm a high enough level for this. At all. Alright, so I, I had to do a quick Google search, and I think I found a strategy. See, the enemies come from, like, these areas here. 
but I might be able to enter sneak mode. And, uh... <laughs> I might, if I can be real careful, he, if I can get, if I can get it so he doesn't see me, I can actually, like, block this area. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry. Alright, I fucked up. So the idea is that he does carpet bomb, but one guy spawns over there. Anyway, the idea is that I might be able to start off a little bit better. Yeah, because one guy starts over there, so if I can stop... Yeah. Right. Hold on. See, I guess the original game is even harder than this. But, uh, what I'm gonna try to do is one guy spawns in over here, so let's try to block that. We're gonna try that first. <laughs> I don't know why this works, apparently it does, I don't know. It seems ridiculous and stupid, but you know what, I'm willing to try anything at this point. Because, uh, this boss is stupidly hard. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know if that's the real reason why there's so many vases and stuff. But, uh, yeah, see, these are the spawn points, so, uh, I don't know. Apparently, though, this game was actually even harder originally in the original version, uh, not even the enhanced. So, that's very interesting to me, because I can't imagine this being any harder than it is. This is already a little stupid, but it almost makes me feel like you're not, like, with the- oh, shit. 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 I don't think I did this. Well, she's gonna get carpet bombed. I mean, rest in peace. <laughs> I didn't put enough phases there. My sneaking didn't work out so well. Yeah. Oops. Although, <laughs> one guy is actually stuck there. That's really fucking funny. Alright, can I do any damage? You know what? I can do a little bit of damage. Wait, he instantly heals. Okay this. Ooh, water spells might work on him. Or water, water things in general might work. Yeah, see, I didn't get that guy in time. Oops. Ow. Alright, I didn't really prepare, but, uh, you know what, we're gonna just give this one a shot. Let's try to knock him down. Doubt we can. Alright, never mind. Fuck you, Brachus. Bitch. Suck a dick. Alright, now I am actually- oh shit, there's still you. I forgot there was three in total. See if I can block- there's a way to block off all three of them, but uh... I don't know the exact methods. Uh, you're probably close enough to ricochet, so... Fuck you. That didn't really do a whole lot of damage in general anyway. Um, tell you what. How do you feel about, uh... I was gonna say fire, but uh... Don't suppose I can actually put you on the fire. Can I throw you back here? Fuck it. Cool. Alright, that didn't do anything at all. Alright, he's slowly, he's slowly making his way downtown. I've killed you once and I didn't have a whole lot of fun doing it. So, uh... Crushing Fist Brachus. Damn it. Well, I tried to get him knocked down. Well, fuck it. I'm gonna just take a quick uh, fire resistance. If I have one. I do. Alright. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> Alright. Fuck it. I'm flanked currently. That kind of sucks. But it's okay. Shit. <laughs> I really appreciate that he's just blocked. And he can't do shit all. I need you to move out of the way. I need you to shoot uh, Baracus, of course. He's the important one, I feel. But I shouldn't prioritize like that. Hmm. Can I freeze him? Hmm. Nope. You know what? It was worth a shot. Let's make it rain. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Why the hell not? Ow. I mean, you did damage to me, I'll give you that. But I also do damage to you, so take a pick. What are you gonna do to me? Oh, good. You crippled me. Fan bloody tastic. Alright, what are you gonna do, Brachus? You're gonna unleash hell, are you? Well, you scared her, at least. Good job on that one. 
Oh shit, you are gonna kill her at this point. <laughs> I really... What? Damn it! Stop running away! Uh, hit... Hit you, I guess, because I can hit anybody else. Yeah, fuck it. Good hit. Good hit. See, I don't know what exactly to do here. Because I'm crippled, so my regeneration's pretty slow. But that's okay. What are you going to do, Brackus? Going to do anything fun? I mean, if you kill her, I don't know how I'm going to feel. She is mildly warm at this point. <laughs> that's really funny. I, I don't know why it just says that she's warm and nothing else. Uh, there's some poison arrows. Fire arrows, which is just not a good idea at all. Alright, cool. How about we ricochet? Sure. Hit everybody with a ricochet shot. And then belt him with an arrow anyway. Fuck him. Can you do it again? No, it's 4 AP. Alright. Well, you can shock and touch him. So, hit something. Cool. He's stunned. Alright. That was fun. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna punch me? Well, ow. You did end up punching me. I mean, congratulations. I'm just trying to take out practice racks. Don't mind me. Do I have anything I can use? Do I have like a, uh, hmm, a scroll that does some damage? It was my initial question. Hmm. Holy hand grenade. It'll significantly heal everybody. That might be a good idea. It does cost more AP than I have, so probably should have realized that was a thing before. Uh, but I can also summon an Ice Elemental, which will definitely help me. Anything else that I should be aware of? Nah. Um, okay. As long as he doesn't kill me, I can probably Holy Hand Grenade. As well as, uh, summon. Thank God he's over there and he can't see anything. Um. Yeah, do you have anything you can use actually off the top of your head? Is there anything you know of? Hmm. Freezing arrows. They're going to be good to go to her. And what else can I do? You know what? Not a whole hell of a lot. But why don't you heal her? Since I don't think that she's in a 5 meter radius. And if she is, it's all the better. What are you going to do? Um... You gonna make me mildly warm? Okay. Fuck it. Alright, I gotta throw down a holy hand grenade if you don't mind. Let's have a look here. There's also a lot of, like, arrows that I have. So that'll be a fun thing to do. Um... Holy hand grenade, that's right. Where do you hide out in my inventory again? Because I've completely forgotten. Here we go. Is that gonna heal the enemies too? Fuck it, let's find out. It does. Absolutely. It heals everything. Good. Alright. Tell you what. Uh, why don't I now use that scroll that I was talking about? Because I can totally do that now. Uh, is it this one? Ice Elemental? Sure. Uh, you're gonna summon in a flanking position. Cool. Now Bracus Rex is flanked. Alright. Hit him. Okay, you know what? That's not too bad. And a chance to set Frozen? Jesus Christ. Okay. You know what? I can... Oh, fuck. I'm about to die. Is he gonna finish me off? Ow. There's a real strong chance I'm gonna be killed here. Well, I say that. Eh, just, just, uh... Let's hope for the best. Well, I have an ice arrow. Can I use an ice arrow? On Brachus? No, I really can't. It costs 4 AP. I gotta use 2 AP to get just slightly out of the way. Although I don't think that was even enough, was it? Uh, does not appear, but I'll hit him with it. Jesus, that almost killed him. I just needed anything at that point. And you don't really have anything I can do off the top of your head. Nope. Uh, hit him, I guess. Should have probably hit the twins by fire join, because I'm pretty sure that actually just made me lose. I also stunned myself, did I? No, I didn't. But, uh... Hmm. Heals 20, heals 30, that's not nearly enough. That's the issue. That heals 87 vitality. 
which might heal me a little bit more, but is it enough? I don't know off the top of my head. Let's do a quick look. That does a bunch of piercing damage. Let's give that one to Jayhan. And let's... This heals 77 for three turns. Uh, can I use it on myself? Oh, I didn't... I don't have enough AP, do I? No, I don't think I do. Alright, shit. Um, you know what? Let's use this. Because I need anything at this point. Alright. Damn it, he's gone. Can you... Can you hit him and kill him? Thank you. That's better than nothing. See, that means that we're off to a good start. Do you have anything in your inventory that could prove kind of useful? Not... Not really. That does fire damage. I think your staff does fire damage too, right? Yeah, it's a fire staff you have. This is an air staff. That's also an... That's a better air staff, though. Hit him with it. Cool. Keep hitting him with it. Yeah, you know what? That worked out better than I thought it would. Now, do I do I hit or do I heal? I'm gonna say heal. All right, maybe that was a bad idea, but I am being careful. I also really appreciate that situation. All right, ricochet time. That's a good idea because damn it, I was hoping it would finish him off. Fuck, it's fine. Just poke him and then attempt to freeze him. I see drop. Nah, you know what? It was worth a chance. It was worth a shot. Can I kill him? Alright, what do I have for three that could kill him? Do I have a bomb that does... That does require three. It causes bleeding. That creates a poison cloud. Sets diseased. You know what? I'd rather not get myself killed is the issue. So, uh... Looking at my inventory here, what do I have as an option? I have an earth one that needs to be identified. Let's move that down there so don't forget about that. Alright, um... Don't know if I have anything. Um... Yeah, I don't really have a whole hell of a lot. I could try this nail bomb, but the thing is... Well, you know what? That'll only hurt him, so fuck it. Never mind, it hurt all of us. I think it's because I actually hit him directly. Which... Kind of fucked us all up a little bit. Wow, you are just staring down her. What did she ever do to you? Good job over there, buddy. Uh, hit him. Just hit him again. Just keep fucking hitting him. He's almost dead. You should be able to finish him off with a... That's... Fuck it. Cool. I don't think that... I don't think the jet... Uh, hello? Oh, Maybe now you can learn something useful. Like how to wash your other things. Alright, we all leveled up, so I guess she did get the experience as well. So I'm gonna move on over there. Is this a little cheap? Probably. Time. Hey, Is that okay? Fuck it. <laughs> I mean... I'm... I'm not above the law. If I have to abuse a glitch or two on a very difficult boss, so be it. I'm a shitty human being. I apologize if you don't like that. But, God forbid, I was going to be here forever trying to do that goddamn fight. I don't know how I would have been able to do it if I had to actually fight all three guys at once. So I think it might be better that I did it this way. Also, that guy's poison. And I want to say that, uh, hmm. Would fire be good against poison? In my head it is. But, I mean, I've been wrong before. What are you going to do? Oh shit, the fire is going to explode all those vases as well. But, I mean, is it worth it at this point? Can't even hit him from there. How much does that arrow cost? Four? So I can move over here and still have four, but that's not nearly close enough. Let's move on real close. Let's move you on up real close. Alright. As good as a new penny. Alright, this this should work out. This should work out a little bit. You're gonna wait right there. And you're gonna move up a little bit. And then we're gonna try to pummeling fist. Think we can do that? I think we can do that. Can we hit him with it? We can. Yeah, absolutely. He got knocked down from that. Alright, can you use this explosive arrow on him? You can. You know what? 
I'm gonna say it was worth it. I, I'm not gonna complain. Um, I'm gonna just actually belt him with a... Hmm... Oh, I got a fire arrow. Just keep hitting him with fire. Oh, I can't see him. Of course I can't see him. Uh, can I hit him with this? Maybe? Not really, no. Not a whole lot. That's alright. Um, he's up now, but I'm gonna wait till he comes to me. Uh, can I hit him? I can't see him yet. Wait, jump again. Nah, fuck it. Still don't think I can see you? No. Alright, it's time for you to make it rain. Because, uh, we all can't see him unless you do that. Alright, that seems like that's a good plan. Alright, what are you gonna do? Now you can run, and you can actually attack us. What's your first move? Nothing. Alright, I'll charge you then. Oops, you get knocked down. It would suck if I hit you while you were down. That was a very fitting way to end that fight. Alright, you guys all want to chat? I understand. What's up? It is strange, Source Hunter. I have heard many tales of Bracchus Rex, the radiant ruler, and King Bracchus, boon of our blighted land. How can it be that the stories sang him a hero when he was, in fact, an evil tyrant? Well, um... You know what, Bracchus may have seemed wicked to us, but there are many sides in every story. Perhaps at one time, he was the great ruler that you heard of. But you cannot think that all the stories of old are fiction. What about Thrys? Ah, what about Amira? And the cycles of the elven bards, if they are false, if they are written by, by power, as you say, what good are they? I suppose a song of our world would be quite different if it were written in summer or in winter. And I believe the same might be said of our histories. The pictures they paint may be incomplete, but they are not false. Absolutely, it kind of boils down to that quote that uh, history is written by the victor in a similar sense. Hey, what's up, buddy? The king is dead. Long live... Well, not he. He came close, though, Bracchus Rex. Close to fulfilling his dream. Dormant he would lie until loyal followers that persisted through centuries would restore him to life afresh. As a ghoul, no more was he reborn. Exactly the type of base necromancy I abhor. But now that he is dust at our feet, I can't help but feeling a morsel of pity. The work of ages, the desire beyond death, we undid with a simple stroke of the sword. Actually, I don't know if you were watching there, but it required many saves, many attempts, and blocking off one of the enemies, but I totally agree. You know what, it's true, if it wasn't a dangerous source for his, rex his resurrection, may have been a thing of beauty. Yes, well, something along those lines. Life, it is such a precious commodity. So precious indeed, that death is dealt in droves to merely postpone it. To make it cross the boundaries set by nature. There is much simple irony to be found in these exploits, but at the heart of it lies an equally simple endeavor, which is to overcome the most primal of fears, the dread that prompts philosophy and religion both, and that is the fear of death. To overcome death, if it be possible, is to attain victory over the unconquerable. Still, all this talk about immortality hits the raw and ragged nerve of passing time with relentless momentum. Onward, onward. To be idle is to die. I dearly apologize. I missed like one sentence out of that. My heavy finger came into play. Alrighty, time for my favorite part of every episode, the loot. The loot that we find on these mysterious beings. It uh, gives me a real Diablo feel. This whole area gave me a real Diablo feel. Holy shit. I should just make this the thumbnail and just leave it at that. Holy shit, the amount of stuff that we had just found like his two-handed axe, which is better than my executioner's sword. 
or this steel crossbow, or this large healing potion, magical poison dart skill book, unidentified light air staff, unidentified nice clawed fire wand, unidentified strong leather bracers, summon fire elemental scroll, padded leather boots, padded robe, Bracus Rex personal key, unidentified trap push dagger, unidentified thick cloth armor, and a blank skill book witchcraft. Anything else? Huh. On top of all that, we got some gold. We got some firestorm grenades. We have some toxic grenades. We have his uh, summon fire elemental skill book. We have his personal belongings, Jesus Christ. I have locked a new room at my home. What homestead? I have a homestead? Alright, well, fuck it. I'll figure that one out. We found a lance and scale armor and freezing arrows. Alright, and an inert stone. Uh, there was more chests around here, right? There was this one, chores of the s chest of the source king. Can I? I want to open it though. Can I pick you up? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Hello? Um. Sorry, I didn't mean to glitch out the game like that. Uh. Okay, let's see if I can put the lock back into place. Can I... Can I put the lock back into place? There, if you look at it... For, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, I can get the lock back into place. There, if you just look at it from the back angle, it's a little off-center, but that's okay. Uh, there, I found a whetstone. Alrighty. Well, that was interesting. Is there nothing else around here? Nah, I don't believe so. Is it safe? Have you done it? Please tell me that you have sent Brachus Rex to the grave once and for all. Oh, absolutely. Uh, his reign of terror is over forever. Magnificent. Oh, truly wondrous. I feel like a prisoner set free. Free to bask in the daylight once more. I was so fearful. Petrified almost in the knowledge that I might see him again. You see, I knew the Mad King. In fact, I served him. When he mentioned Mancat, I kind of thought about you. Come again? I'm a wizard hunter, and that means I've seen many centuries pass me by. They weren't always happy ones, and you may take that as an understatement. I was once under Brachus's thrall. Bound to him by perfidious magic. Life was an endless cycle of servitude, torture, and humiliation. Only after the first source hunter skewered him like the pig he was did my nightmare end. As you can imagine, I was afraid beyond all measure that the fiend would enslave us all once more. That I'd be cast back into the rank pit that was my past. But he hasn't, and he never will. Thank you. I will never forget this act of valor. Now see, I asked Brachus about Cassandra. Turns out she was a sister, a sister with a man-cat. So you have heard of her? Yes. I knew Cassandra. She was a sweet girl when we met. Hardly a woman yet. The very opposite of her deranged brother, who did not hesitate to butcher her for his own benefit. We were fast friends in those days. Aye, more than friends. Until he took her down to the dungeons and she returned a woman no longer. A twisted lich had she become, with a twisted mind to match her grisly new shape. I want to just say that word is the weirdest word. Like, I've heard about, like, a lich, like the Lich King, but not, like, <laughs> a twisted lich. It's a weird word to me, but anyway. Why did Brac- now that Brachus has been dealt with, what's now- oh, you know what, fuck it. Why did Brachus turn his own sister into a lich? <laughs> he remorselessly and relentlessly sought ways to cheat death. Cassandra and he were soul-forged, so he knew that if she would die, he would die. Wait a minute. And so he turned her into a lich. Turned her into a creature neither living nor dead, so that he could 
break the Soul Forge without destroying himself in the process. Giving the matter no further thought, he rid his sister of her humanity so as to rid himself of a spell that could threaten him. Such a man was Bracchus Rex. Immortal in his mind and immortal to be in effect. As your swords and spells have demonstrated, though, to this world's everlasting contentment, his deranged fancy was not to be. Right, now if Cassandra's an immortal li where is she now? I... I don't know. When the Source Hunters besieged Braxis' castle, I sought only to escape. I never heard of her again. Truly, even though as you say, you and Cassandra were more than friends. I... Yes, I longed for freedom, for release. When I saw my chance, I ran and never looked back. Alright, so now that Brackus has been dealt with, what's next? You have foiled one of Leandra's vile designs, that much is certain. But I highly doubt you forestalled her endgame, whatever that may be. Can I take a quick moment to ask, what the hell is his weapon, anyway? It is therefore imperative that we find her sister, Rikara. As you've learned from the accursed duo that was Jake and Evelyn, the White Witch is somehow involved. I will vouch for her gentle nature, but alas, I cannot vouch for her current state of mind. Has she been corrupted by her sister, perhaps? Or have they become enemies locked in a murderous game of cat and mouse? There's no way of knowing until you find her. What I do know is that she lives in a cabin deep in Lakula Forest to the north. If anywhere, that is where I advise your travels should take you next. Alright, really quickly I wanted to say that wintry areas in games are my favorite, and I really hope that in the north is a wintry area. Very well, Hunter. My gratitude is yours, as is my service. Okay. Wait, what is this? Is that something that I can look at? Is that him that I was seeing, or is that... Um, okay. Wait, the, the hell? Like, something is... Okay, that's just part of him. Okay. Uh, what's up? That's it. Bracchus Rex is dead. The way he spoke about our forebears was horrific. I wonder how many Source Hunters had to die before the Source King was deposed. He was a man utterly corrupted by Source. Don't waste a moment thinking on his crimes, especially not when we have a world of work ahead of us. Actually, you know what? Hmm. You know, even if it was one, it was too many. My heart shrivels in my chest when I think of... Uh, the just in his voice as he recalled his crimes. Every inch of this source cult that we unravel is an inch of justice for those killed. Damn Bracchus and all his breed. Damn them straight to hell. Hey look, we're both romantic. Alright. So real quick. I got a bunch of shit here I need identified. Like that. Wait, what do I need for that? Level 2. Okay, level 2. Not a bit, Not a bad issue. I need to get this also identified, and this identified, and this identified, and I think that there's this identified, and there is this identified, <laughs> and let's equip that. Okay, real quick, for our abilities, we have two available. Why don't we go ahead and upper blacksmithing? Sure. And, uh, you know what? Well, while we are at it, let's also upgrade. What is willpower? It is... Fuck it. It's everything we need. Alright, for Jet, what you are going to get is you're going to get some... I was going to say single-handed is daggers. Let's give you some single-handed, because uh, that's going to help you in the long run. And while we are at it... Hmm... Yes, because I want you to use a knife just in case you have to. Uh, but let's get you sneaking in the process. For Jayhan, what I want you to start working on was your fire, right? Pyrokinetic? Sure. Alright, that's good to me. And as for you, what do I want you to upgrade? How about we give you some better lock picking and call that good? Alright, Jet, you're going to have a real identifying job in hand. Oops, that was already identified. Start with that. And we're gonna get just down the line. I'm gonna have a look at what we found. 
That seems like a good plan. Because there's just a handful of stuff that needs to be identified. Okay, one more thing to I- oops. Sorry, one more thing to identify. Alright, holy shit the damage that that does. Alright, I'm happy with that. Uh, let's give that to Effie. Let's give this staff. It is an Earth one to blood uh, bloodthirst. 31 to 51. Oh jeez, fire is better. So give that to one of the Jayham, but we're also going to give them both just in case. You know what, fuck it, give them all of them. 97 to 152. Holy shit. And 34. Let's give that to her. And keep everything else where it's at. Okay. Real quick, we're going to toss... Never mind. What did I get? I don't know what it was exactly. Let's give you that. And then let's give this to him. Does that seem like a good enough plan? Maybe. Can you equip it? Nope. Oh well. Alright, 49 to 98. Yeah, fuck it, that's your best one. And it... Okay, that's all good. I was gonna say, it seems to be matching the Borderlands theme in terms of, like, what's the best to, uh, equip and whatnot. Alright, you're going to equip this, uh, Lance. Keep that down there just in case. Give... Jesus, look at that. 102 to 160. That's a hell of an arrow. Give that one another jet. Alrighty. And this is a blank skill book ingredient thingy, my bobber. Cool. Alright, well, fuck it. We've been recording for so long anyway. Um, really quick. What is up here? Anything up here? Nothing noteworthy. Also, there has to be a reason all these vases were all together. Anyway, save real quick and then have a look at the, not the log, but here. We have a homestead of some sort. Is that at the end of time? Alright, I'll bite. How can you tell we found another stone? Aha! Mere child's play when you know what to look for. And luckily, I do. Do you remember when you first arrived on this plane? When the dormant portal that led us to this hall sprang to life? Sure. It's happened again, my friend. Another portal has reignited. The end of time is growing by the stone. Isn't that a bad thing? It's all connected somehow. You, this place, the void, the stones. Soon we'll have unraveled the whole truth. Oh, how I do love a good mystery. When I meant the end of time thing, I meant that if you were to say the end of time is growing, it's usually a bad thing. But anyway, what have we discovered through the new portal? You don't imagine that I'd presume to explore it before you? No. No, no, that would be most unmannerly, uh, and not to mention, well, uh, the, uh, the... What, what is this, Zigzax? You a little scared, buddy? No, oh, I'm sure it's nothing. It's just that beyond the portal, I sense a, well, a presence that I can't quite account for. It is at once powerful and faint. Perhaps only a shadow, perhaps more. But this is only speculation, of course. Come, come, let me show you the way. Once you're through, you'll be able to report exactly what we're dealing with. Alright, on that note, man, I love his running animation. Anyway, on that note, we are going to call this an episode here. I've been recording for a bit too long, so you guys know the drill. If you guys watched this and you thought, damn, this sucks, I want you to drop a dislike and let me know what you didn't like so I can get it all taken care of. Where, in the meantime, maybe you did like it. If that was the case, be sure to drop a like and let me know what you liked, because I always want to improve. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, like I said, it obviously does mean the absolute world to me. I do hope you guys all have an absolutely amazing day, and, uh, well, ciao.